For question one, we're given that the frequency of oscillation of a certain LC circuit is 169 kilohertz. At time t equals zero, plate A of the capacitor has maximum positive charge. We're asked at what earliest time t greater than zero will plate A have maximum positive charge? So for A, we need to find where plate A will have the maximum positive charge. To do this, we need to use this formula. We need to say that our T for time is equal to N times T, which is representing period. And N represents the number of times this happens. We can also make note that T is equal to one over F. So period is equal to one over F or frequency, F is frequency, or we could say that frequency is one over the period. Now that we have this, we can solve. Solving for this, we'll write that our T of A is equal to N and our n here is just going to be 1, so we can write 1 up here. The number of times is just 1, it happens. And then our frequency is, we're given right here, is 169 kilohertz. So we are going to plug in 169, and since it's kilohertz, we have to convert it to hertz. And to do this, we're just going to multiply it by 10 to the third, and write hertz. And then plug this into a calculator to find our t of a. After we do this, we are gonna see our t of a is equal to approximately six times 10 to the negative sixth. And our units is just gonna be in seconds because it's time. So this is the answer for part a. For part b, we need to find out at what earliest time t greater than zero will the other plate of the capacitor because there's two, have maximum positive charge. For this, we are going to use this formula. Once we have this, we can look at what we have. And we have a T right here, which represents time. We have a T here and a T here, which represent the period, or one over F for frequency. And we have our N right here, which represents the number of times this happens. After we've written this out, we can start solving. So. We'll notice if we plug in our one here, because our n many times is just one, we're gonna get a zero. So that is just gonna leave us with t equaling one half of t. Now, we do know what our one over f is. We know what our frequency is because we used it here and we have it right here. So what we can do is convert this t to one over f and then we are going to say t is equal to one half f or one over two f and then we can plug in our f which is 169 kilohertz but we need to make that hertz so we can say that that's 169 times 10 to the three hertz because that is the conversion and after we plug this into our calculator we'll get our answer and if we round this to a whole number, it's just going to be three times 10 to the negative six, and we're still gonna have it in seconds. That is our final answer for part B. For part C, we're asked at what earliest time t greater than zero will the inductor have maximum magnetic field? For this, we are going to start our formula with our t time equaling to one fourth times t which is our period just like in part b we have this starting part and in part b uh, we see our period for the second plate is half that of our original period and but we have this second part but we have the second part after it this n minus one times t and what this is for is that it's basically saying for the rest of the periods. This is the initial period and this is the rest of the periods that follow. And that's why we have this n here. So the number of periods that this occurs for. And we're going to have something like this for our part 
C. For our part C though, we are going to have N minus one T. So it's very similar to part B, and the only difference is it's just gonna have a two under it. So basically, part A, where it says the maximum positive charge, we have NT. And for part B, we are just subtracting one from that. So we can have um, a T out front, and then we're gonna half that T. And then for part C, we are just gonna have our part B formula, and then multiply everything by one half. To solve this, we're going to act like we have an n value. And if we have an n value, what we're going to do is have our t to the fourth, like this. And then we are also going to have a, and then we're going to try to combine this together. So we can multiply this part by 2 over 2. That way the denominators will be the same. And this is going to become 2n minus 2 t over 4. Now we can factor our t in and combine both of these. If we do that, we're going to get t plus 2n t minus 2t over 4. For here, we can note now that our n is just 1. And if our n is just 1, our 2n t and this 2t cancel out. And we are just going to be left with t over 4. We have to remember that um, this is all equal to t. So our t is going to equal t over 4. After we do this, we can substitute our t because we know what t is. It's 1 over f. And we have to do this because we need, we're only given our frequency. If we were given a t, our period, we would be able to solve this. However, since we're not, we have to use the conversion 1 over f to use the frequency that we're given. And after we do this, we're going to get t is equal to 1 over 4 times 169, which is the frequency, times 10 to the third, since we are given it in kilohertz and we need it to be in hertz. And this is the conversion for that. And then after we plug this into our calculator, we are going to get 1.5 five if we round times 10 negative six seconds rounding is only used for simplification here and normally it is not acceptable so it's generally good practice to write out up to the third significant figure and these are all answers for a b and c if we need to convert this to microseconds we can write here that one second is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6 microseconds. So if we were to convert this last question right here to microseconds, what we would do is have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds, right? Over 1, say 1 US, and then we can multiply this by 1 second. That way the seconds cancel out. And up top here, we'll have 1 times 10 to the 6 microseconds. And that will allow us to cancel out this 10 to the negative 6 and this 10 to the 6. And then we are just going to be left with 1.5 microseconds. And that is the equivalent answer.